Hey guys, Josh from Athletic Preparation. We are gonna share with you how to instantly drop your 40 time. Again, stuff you can use right now today. So we're gonna share three key things to help you drop that 40 time. The first way to drop your 40 time is that we want to have you trade inches for angles. So meaning uh, a lot of times kids come in and they crowd the line too much. And we're gonna show you kind of what that means. Um, but a lot of times kids, it makes sense in their head, like you wanna crowd the line so that way you run the shortest distance possible. And if you run the shortest distance, then you'll have the fastest time. That makes sense. Uh, but we're going to teach you a different way and we're going to teach you how to optimize angles so that way your force is best expressed and get you going uh, the fastest possible for your 40, okay? So first thing, what I mean by this is trading your inches for angles is, let's say this is our startup line right here. So we have a whole nother video and actually, you know, for Faster 40 product where we help you run a Faster 40, we'll kind of break this down in detail. I'm going to give you the shotgun approach. So a lot of people say, come up to the line and you want to crowd that line as far and hard as you can so that way you run the shortest distance, right? So I'll have kids come in, they'll be set up on the line and again, a lot of their body weight's over the line so they're, now they're running a 39 and a half yard 40 instead of a 40, which again makes sense. But what we'll notice, they're not in the right angle and the right position to help them you know, express their force maximally and also in the right direction, okay? And we're gonna break that down. So, uh, meaning, when we're trying to sprint, we have two forces working against us, all right? We got vertical, where it's just gravity, and horizontal, which is where we're trying to go, the fastest distance to a straight line. Um, so now, if you're set up here, and this front shin, again, is like a cannon, and this is the top of the cannon, if this cannon is pointing up, I'm gonna pop up, all right? I'm gonna lose my acceleration angle. So that's why we don't want you to crowd the line. And I'd rather point this cannon in the direction that I wanna go, which is more horizontally, all right? So this is gonna be the biggest key. So we want to set up the angle instead of crowding the line. Now to get that cannon pointing in the right direction, we're first going to start standing, okay? You want to take your lead leg, slide it back to your heel, and then this is where we're going to make that first adjustment, okay? So this is going to be your lead leg, and with my trail leg, I'm going to simply drop this knee in roughly in the arch of the foot. So now to check to see if I have this right position on this front leg, this knee should be at the, start, at the tip of the starting line. So if I drop my knee down without my foot moving, this is a little bit too far back. So I need to move it back a couple inches. So that way my knee is right here at the line, okay? And then again, I'm gonna take my trail leg, my back leg, roughly have it in the arch of my foot. Again, we have a whole nother video that'll cover this in more detail and things that cover that. Uh, so we're not gonna cover that now. So now once I get set up, this front knee should roughly be at a 45 degree angle, okay? It shouldn't be 90, it should be roughly 45 degrees. So that way that's the optimal coming over gravity, but also getting that horizontal force to get us moving down the line quickly, okay? So that's the first thing. Trade, uh, give up some inches, so that way you have better angles for force application so you can run that faster 40. We're all set up on the line. We have our cannon pointing in the right direction. So now we're gonna talk about that front shin angle and also that back shin angle. But again, there's a whole nother video for your reference to go over more detail. I just wanna give you the nuts and bolts, but um, anyways, front shin's at 45 degrees. And this back leg, we don't want it to be too bent. We don't want it to be too horizontal or too vertical, completely locked out like that, okay? We want about 130 degree angle inside that knee, okay? And uh, both of these shins should roughly be parallel, pointing me in the right direction, telling me where I'm going. I can tell where you're going, how you set up, and what direction your shins are pointing, okay? If it's gonna be good or bad, most likely from the start. So we're set up, feel that weight in our legs, and then we push and get out. So that's why we want you to trade those inches or get better angles instead of trying to crowd the line to help you get a faster 40. Just like your sport coach spends so much time getting you in the right position, getting you lined up, so that way you are in the best possible position to make a play, same thing is true when you are running your 40. I spend so much time getting kids just in the right position because I know that being in the right position is gonna affect how the whole rest of the race goes, okay? So really take the time to optimize that uh, it feels a little bit different if you've never done it before, so it's great to get some coaching or some feedback on that by someone who knows, again, what they're doing. So that way they can tell you, yes, you know, because the doing the right thing might feel wrong to you, okay? So you need to know what right feels like and know that it's okay because it's awkward for a lot of athletes. The second thing to help you instantly lower your 40 time is to practice not only your setup but also your first five yards okay so when you are doing your sprint you reach half of your max velocity so half of your maximal speed within your first two to three steps all right so you get to top speed or half of your maximal speed 
within three steps, all right? So that is critical. So uh, just like you guys do practice your free throws, like if you're a basketball player, as an example, like you played basketball before, you have a routine that you go through, right? Like say you get the ball, you do two bounces, you do a spin, right? Everything is routine, it's consistent, it's familiar for you. Same thing you need to practice with your setup, okay? Um, take the time, set up, so that way you can get a rep in, do your first five yards, say like, ah, oh, I feel like I was gonna fall on that one or whatever the case is, or that one had popped up too much. So now you create that inter uh, internal awareness so you can make adjustments of like, oh, maybe my, foot, my, maybe my front shin was too vertical and I need to get it more horizontal. So you can play, get that feedback, and again, this is a skill you can really rehearse, so that's why you need to practice daily. You can practice your start, setup, and your first five, you know, 10 to 20 times a day, all right? It doesn't take anything, but just the will to do it, the will to get better, and simply the effort, all right? So, uh, we're gonna get you set up. I want you to practice your setup and your first five, and these need to be full speed. You can't do these half, can't do these halfway, okay? You need maximal intent on these, all right? So, just uh, get set up, practice your first five. to do coming out of your 40 is you need to be violent all right and so what I mean by this is that speed is really a belief before it is an action all right so meaning your approach your whole routine going into running a 40 it needs to be you need to be violent you need to be aggressive and you need to be powerful and we're gonna give you two more kind of really quick tips on uh, what that looks like all right so when you're lining up for the 40 a lot of times we see guys come in and they have really short choppy arms and they move their limbs really quickly but again, they're not going anywhere fast. It's kind of like if you're in a car and you're peeling out, you're rotating your tires, right? The tires are moving quickly, but the car is not moving, all right? So in, that, in order for that, you need to be violent and you need to be patient, all right? So what I mean by that is I need to see big, powerful arms, big, powerful strides through your legs. That way you're gaining ground, okay? So you're covering ground every step instead of taking a bunch of small choppy steps, all right? I see tons of kids, athletes come in for the first session. Uh, they have no idea how to set up. They have no idea how to run. They take those quick choppy steps and they go nowhere, okay? So that's what I mean. You have to be violent. You have to be patient so that way you can maximize the power and the push while you're running your 40, especially coming out of the start for you guys, that's where your strength is gonna be most beneficial, okay? So meaning your foot is on the ground longest then, so you need to maximize what power you do have and take advantage of your foot, your time on the ground, so that way you can use you know, the most amount of force that you do have. That's why you do all the strength training, and this is where it helps you transfer the most, is that first five to 10 yards for you guys, okay? So, um, last bit of advice I can give you, a little bonus tip, is that know that every step you're naturally gonna rise. So meaning, let's say this is step one, step two, step three, step four, that's your body's posture in case you didn't know. You're naturally gonna rise every step, all right? I see too many guys come in and they stay low for too long, they force the lean, and that causes you to fall forward, that causes you to catch yourself instead of sprint, and that slows you down, okay? So just know it's okay, you're naturally rising, kind of like an airplane taking off on a runway, okay? It gradually builds and rises up. So those are the ways you can instantly drop your 40. I appreciate you so much, I know you're a serious athlete, so if you made it this far, hit the like on the video if it's beneficial for you. We also put together a sprint technique cheat sheet and free four week workout. It's in the down in the description below. So go ahead and uh, download that today. It'll be super beneficial for you. And thank you so much. Subscribe and I'll catch you next time.